Hello, everybody. Today we are reading a book called A Friend for Lakota. And Lakota was a wolf pup. And this is a true story. And as I read, be thinking about why it is important to learn about the animals that share our world. And this book is by Jim and Jamie Dutcher. Spring blooms over the sawtooth mountains of Idaho. Wildflowers splash patches of bright colors across the meadows. And a young wolf pup, Lakota, rolls in the fresh green grass. Lakota spends all day playing. He turns every rock, log, and stick into a toy. His days are simple and fun. But in a wolf's world, things can change quickly. Every day, Lakota also roams the forest and meadows with his brother, Camuts, Camotes. The two wolves look alike, but their paw pads down, excuse me, I'm going to read that again. The two wolves look alike, but their paws pad down different paths. Camotes fearlessly explores the forest. Lakota timidly follows. Camotes investigates every noise. Lakota shrinks back from strange sounds. Lakota is shy and gentle, while brave Camotes shows the promise of a great leader. Soon the first snowflakes fall over the mountains, covering the wolves' world in a thick white blanket. Lakota and Camotes grow. Their lean legs stretch tall, and their fur coats thicken to keep them warm in the freezing air. As winter melts into spring, three new wolves join the brothers. Now, instead of just two, they are a family of five. They are now a wolf pack. Every member of Lakota's pack has a job to do. Camotes quickly rises to be a strong leader. Amani causes trouble, while Motsi keeps the peace. Suddenly, Camotes lifts his head and lets out a long ah, ooh. The rest of the pack gathers around him and joins in. Their howls, a chorus echoing in the mountains. By the following winter, Lakota too settles into his position in the family. Gentle Lakota never challenges the other wolves. His job is to help everyone play to get along. Easy to do when all the wolves seem to be in a good mood. But one snowy day, as pack members chase one another, something happens. The wolves suddenly heap on top of Lakota. They snarl in his face. Lakota whimpers and drops to the ground as low as he can go, waiting timidly for the pile of wolves to retreat. Just a few days later, it happens again, and then again. Before long, Lakota is being picked on all the time. One wolf nips at his tail, another jumps on him, another pulls on his fur. Motsi doesn't join the other wolves. He doesn't jump on Lakota. He never pulls on his fur, but he watches. One day, Amani confronts Lakota in full view of the others. He growls deeply, then he charges. Lakota drops to the ground and trembling tries to crawl away. But all of a sudden, in a whirl of fur, Motsi jumps between Amani and Lakota, letting out a loud snarl. Amani skids to a stop and backs off. There will be no picking on Lakota today. Soon, Matsi and Lakota become the best of friends. In summer, they play tag and roll in the long grass. In fall, they race through the aspen leaves that float down from the trees. In winter, they pounce on a stream's newly formed ice to hear it pop and crack under their feet. The other wolves don't bother Lakota when he is with Matsi. Matsi won't allow it. Sometimes Matsi and Lakota wander off, away from the others. With just his friend, Lakota can finally run, jump, and chase, like all the wolves do. 
Lakota jumps on Matsi's back, his tail happily wagging back and forth. He whines at Matsi, inviting him to play, and Matsi always plays back. He seems to know this is what his friend needs. As Lakota grows older and new pups join the pack, his confidence seems to soar. In time, the other wolves leave him alone. They stop picking on him. Lakota and Matsi stay best friends. Still, Lakota never seems to forget his past. He was once at the bottom of the pile, but there was the friendship that Matsi gave him when no one else would. Sometimes the other wolves pick on the young ones, but Lakota never does. And here's where Lakota lives with other wolves in North America. This is where Idaho is. And if you're interested, you can read more about black, I mean, gray wolves.